One second, brother. All right, seems like the audio is good. One second, brother. Let me just into the group me and uh, just start the lesson then. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Yeah, 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 Sorry, it's like. Off yeah, yeah, I know. I <laughs> <laughs> um, we're also going to give uh, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, and uh, salutations to all you brothers out there who are pushing this uh, this word in all truth and in all sincerity. And uh, today we're going to get into a lesson. And see, uh, in the title, we got to learn to react properly. All right. And um, I was talking to uh, the uh, young deacon Yadaya um, out here in you know GMS Chicago. That's the one of the brothers in my uh, my camp. And um, uh, you know, he was going through some stuff and, um, you know, he was telling me about it. And I, uh, you know, sent him a couple of scriptures, in particular, this uh, one in uh, uh, Second Ezra, the uh, 14th chapter, starting at the 13th verse. And we'll, uh, you know, get that out, Lord uh, willing. And um, like I was telling him, I said, look, man, the Lord's, you know, putting you, you know, in that furnace right now. All right. He's going through that spiritual fire, as the scriptures talk about. And I was telling him, I, was, I said, look, I, you know, we just have to remember to react properly because look the lord is control of all things and with that being said we understand that he um is gonna uh make sure that we go through the furnace of adversity that's a, a part of our uh, uh of our um, lot right now okay you know this is something that we have to go through this is, uh, israel's uh, portion as it says in uh, was the second the seventh chapter all right before we get into the the what is it the kingdom we got to go through much, you know, uh, uh, trials and tribulations, roughly paraphrasing it. Okay, that's pretty good. And um, so with that all being said, we have to always remain spiritual because something's going to come up. There's always going to be a hurdle, a bump, you know, a, a ditch, so to speak, you know, uh, in our way until Yahweh Shah comes back and, and redeems us. All right. Um, do you have anything to say, Rafael? Uh, just that second edge was 14. <laughs> Okay, come on. <laughs> yeah. You want, uh, do you want me to read it or do you want to get it? Like, I I got I, I can it? read it right here. It's it's a okay. This second edge was at the fourteenth chapter. Uh, we'll start at uh, verse thirteen. Now therefore set thine house in order and reprove thy people. Comfort such of them as be in trouble and now renounce corruption. Mm -hmm. Let go. So yeah, it's, 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 oh, Slack, you got it. Like, my bad. No, it's cool. So verse 14, real quick, let go from the mortal thoughts, Ooh. cast away the burdens of man, put off now the, the weak nature, all right? Because all these things that, that we're going through right now is just to build us up, all right? We shouldn't mm -hmm. shake or fumble from this, you know? But, but, but we should be trusting in the Lord while we're going through it, you know, going through it right? and calling upon the name of the Lord, you see? All right, because mm -hmm. this, this is our portion. This is what we have to get, uh, go through to get to the kingdom. Verse 15, it set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee and haste thee to flee from these times. All right, because we're still in a green tree. So there's much more ahead of us that we have to go through. All right, yep. we shall surely drink of that cup. You see? So right now, these little challenges, these little hurdles that, that we're facing right now, they're just meant to build us up, man. All right, to build up our faith as well. You see? Mm -hmm. And, you know, I just wanted to uh, highlight how it said, in particular, that 14th and the first part of 15, I'm going to read it again real quick. Second sure. 14 and 14, let go from the mortal thoughts. Remember, when you start worrying about, okay, uh, uh, how am I going to pay this bill? Okay. Um, you know, you may get upset at the job. All right. You know, maybe some things are going in your household that are, you know, throwing you off. Look, man, those are all mortal thoughts, man. Okay. You just got to let those things go. You see? 
you can't control particular things. It is just, it is what it is. The thing is, how are you going to react to it? Okay, are you going to be a, a lion in your house? All right, because the scriptures say what? Don't be a lion in your house. I think that's in Proverbs, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Mm -hmm. It talks about, uh, 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 you know, you got to rule your spirit. Okay, things like that. You got to do these things. Now, of course, there's a time and a season for everything, but you just can't, you know, uh, 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 react right away and be overly emotional. Because uh, that's what I was telling the brother, too. There's nothing wrong with you having emotions. There's nothing wrong with being sad. There's nothing wrong with, uh, um, you know, feeling angry. Okay, so on and so forth. All right. But once those emotions control you, that's uh, when the problem occurs. All right. You know, but it says yeah. here, let go. Oh, you did you have something to say? Ak? No, same kind. Um, it says here, let go from the immortal thoughts, cast away the burns of man, put off now the weak nature. And really being over, overly emotional is a, a weak nature. That's a, a, a female trait. OK, mm -hmm. that's something that women do where they just panic right away. You know, they, 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 they just start, you know, you know, freaking out. They start. You know, uh, uh, getting mad, all right, wanting to hit, scream, kick, yell, whatever, right? That's what women do. We got to be, you know, uh, 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 level-headed, uh, uh, man, you know? We can't just immediately just, you know, uh, react. Hey, hey, the scriptures talk about pondering your steps. Think about stuff, okay, mm -hmm. before doing it, you see? Now it says here, uh, for greater, so like, um, and set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. So put those things to the side. Hey, the scriptures say, uh, Cast your, your burdens on the Lord, roughly paraphrasing it. I, you know what that said? I can't remember. That's yeah. Song. I'll, I'll That's grab what it. we need to be doing, man. All right? Hey, if you, you have an issue, hey, pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh first and foremost. Hey, like I told the brother, hey, after that, hey, be, be amongst the brethren, all right? Get mm -hmm. some counsel, all right? Hey, just be with the brothers because they lift up your spirit, you know? They get you in, you know, good moods, all right? And then, hey, do something, you know, if you're by yourself, hey, go do something that's, um, that's uh, uh, beneficial to you, like working out, maybe uh, going uh, and taking a walk in the forest preserve or by the lakefront or by the ocean, depending on where you're at, you know, taking a hike. Do things like that, man. Trust me, these things will help you. All right. Um, do you got that scripture? Do you know where it's Yeah, at? this is uh, Psalms 55, verse 22. Cast thy burden upon the Lord Yahweh, and he shall sustain thee. Woo! He, sh he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Mm. Yeah, because I was going to say, uh, I'm going to get it real quick. You you got to remember, the Lord always has a, um, that uh, like I uh, like to always bring out, that emergency escape exit, you know, for the yeah. elect. There's always a way for us to get out of our situations, all right? You just got to find that door and run to it, all right? Because, look, the Lord said he's not going to uh, basically tempt you, you know, um, more than I you can it. handle. What is I that? Got it is that right here. Oh, you got it? Oh, shit. Yeah, it's 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. Yep. There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. So we're all going through yeah, just it. Oh, yep, yep. But the Most High is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but yeah, will. So, like I was going to say, go ahead, go ahead. so with that being said, <laughs> we're all going to be tested, okay? Yep. And I'll yep. say this. You're going to get tested to your limit. Whatever your limit is, best believe the Lord is going to make sure you hit that mark, though. Yep. He, he's not going to go above it, nor is he going to go below it. Okay? But you uh, you will go through something in this truth. The scriptures say, what, in, uh, was it, Sirach 2? Hey, my, my son, if you uh, 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 want to serve the Lord, prepare your soul for temptation. Mm -hmm. Okay? So things will happen. And it'll be weird stuff, man, that you're like, what the hell is going on, man? Like, all of a sudden, you'll, you'll have uh, car issues. All right. You'll have something happen at the job. All right. Maybe, maybe you might have to deal with Esau's court system out of nowhere. You, you think and everything is, uh, you know, uh, uh, peachy, so to speak. You know, it's, uh, you know, an, uh, 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 another day. All right. Business as usual. Then out of nowhere, you'll just get hit with something. You're like, damn, what the hell was that all about? And sometimes you don't even know what the hell, you know, what, what's it, uh, uh, what the issue's about. You're, you're, you're perplexed your damn self. You're like, well, I don't even know what's going on. Why is this coming to me? Then you find out, you know, X, Y, Z things happened in the past. And it could be year, it could be stuff from years ago. And all of a sudden now it's hitting you right then and there. All mm -hmm. right. And then you, hey, you just got to uh, react properly to it. Don't, hey, don't panic. Yep. Don't get too angry. All right. Don't, don't get overly emotional. And they, they just, hey, start, you know, uh, uh, 
uh, um, pondering your steps and, and, and um, you know, going moving in the right direction, so to speak. All right. Karen. Uh, back in First Corinthians ten and thirteen, are uh, in the middle. But the Most High is faithful. Excuse me. Who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, mm -hmm. but will with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Yeah, and like I said, the Lord always has a that emergency exit door, so to speak, for us, so we're able to continue this journey. Because if the Lord puts too much weight on us, we're gonna fall. All right. And we'll we will be done. Alakia. That's Satan, bro. Oh, fuck. Kind of, so I, I I'll bring a scripture out of this school. You you okay? Yeah, you uh, Lord's will, uh mind is cool because all of a sudden my fucking headphones decided to, you know, pop up. I don't even know why. Okay, kind of, this is first Peter four and twelve. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. As though something strange, some I'm sorry, as though some strange thing happened onto you, you know. So hey, this is just to try us, man. This is part of our walk, you see. We're gonna be tested. We shall surely drink of that cup, man. But the Lord's gonna make a way out for his elect, you see. So we can't lean onto our own understanding, we gotta lean on the Lord. All right, we gotta cry out unto the Lord. You know, remember that the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, the power over all flesh, man. The, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, gave all power and authority to Yahweh Shai. You see? There's nothing too hard for the Lord. If you read Jeremiah 32 and 27, all right? So, hey, and, and know what you see, what you're going through is temporary. All right? It's not forever. You see? Yeah. That's right. It's only, it, this is a temporary situation. I think that's in Corinthians. It talks about for our light affliction. It's only but for a moment. I'm going to get right. that for you. The this, water. Is, yeah, uh, this is a light affliction. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because really, you know, when you think about it, the things you go through isn't too too much. Now, I know sometimes, you know, it can get it can get rough, man. We've been there, you know. And Brother yeah. Rapine and myself, you know, we've been in it for a little bit of time. And some things have happened to us where, it, you know, it, things didn't feel good. I'll put it like that. Whether it be spiritually, yeah. mentally, emotionally, <laughs> physically, we we've been through yeah. some stuff, you know. This brother and I, you know, we, we we've been walking for some time together, you know. And uh, you know, we don't, of course, you know, we don't put our uh, all our business out there, but you know, we we know, you know what I'm saying. And um, but with that being said, man, look, this is still lightweight, man. Look, yeah, you're yep. going through a physical ailment. You can deal with it, man. Whatever the Lord gave to you, you can deal with it. If the Lord is getting, you know. Uh, causing emotional distress in your life, the Lord, he, he knows you can handle it, man. Hey, you not having money, the Lord knows you can deal with it. All right? Yeah. These are all just temporary situations. Eventually, the Lord gets you out of them every single time. Mm -hmm. Every single time. Okay? The Lord's not going to uh, forsake the righteous. All right? right. Um, I got that scripture. You want me to get it? Yeah, go ahead. This is uh, first Corinth or Salaki, 2 Corinthians. Chapter four, I'm going to start at, um, I'm going to start at 16. For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. Mm -hmm. Right. And this spiritual fire it, it, it is um purging us, man. It's getting that draw, dross out of us, as the scriptures yeah. talk about, you know, yeah. Yeah. It, it's, it's creating a better, you know, a, a man. All right. A man of the Lord, Lord willing. Okay. Right. Yeah, because it's like that the the silversmith, right? And that one example, you're going through. You know, you you uh, purify all the metals, mm -hmm. and you know you're done when you see your reflection in it. So the Lord yep. wants to see us. I mean, He wants to see Himself in us, man. So that's why these trials, you know, as as much as they burn and they're painful, hey, we got to get through it, man. And we're gonna get through it. You see, yep. until what? Until we're more like Yahushua Yahushua, man. You know, right. Verse 17. Now, for, for our light affliction, mm -hmm. which is but for a moment, worketh for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. While right. we look not, yeah. you want me to keep yeah. reading? No, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Verse 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. 
Right, because right. this is all temporary. This is all going to get burnt up, man. Yep. All right? So <laughs> that, that's why we got to know what we're involved in, you know? Knowing knowing the will of the Lord that, hey, we got to go through all these things to get to the kingdom. All right? And, hey, and, and you know, in Psalms, it tells you that this is going to be like a bad dream. All yeah. right? So, so keep the end in mind. All right? Forget about what's right before you. Just know that you're going to get through it, man. All right? Because at the end of this thing, as long as we endure to the end, we're going to be in the kingdom first, man. We're going to be delivered. We're going to be saved from all these troubles. You see? These things are just yeah. building us up, man. Mm -hmm. Exactly. They, 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 that's all it's for, man. Every, you know, everything that we go through, all right, it, it's um these L's we take, right? They're not really losses. They're what? Lessons, lessons to be, you know, to be yeah. learned from. That's it. That, that's it, man. They're just yeah. lessons to be learned from. And that's going to uh, build you up and make you better, all right? That's going to help you out in your walk and then also the men around you because now you can uh, uh, give that wisdom to them, okay? Oh, hey, brother, you know, I see you going through that situation. I went through something similar. This is what I did, all right, when, you know, when I had that happen to me. And this, you know, it, uh, the, the, these particular moves that I did uh, it helped me out. Maybe it can benefit you as well. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, that's that's another thing too. It's like like us brothers that are in this now, we're going through this now because other brothers when the influx comes in in person, you see, we're gonna be leading a lot of people, man. All right. And these situations yeah. are gonna give us that experience that we can share with others that are coming up under us, man. All right. Yep. So that we could comfort them, exhort them, you see, so they could stand boldly in that day. All right. That's okay, what we Oh yeah, go ahead. Bring the precept out. No, bring yeah, I got uh, a the the brother Benjamin Gabar posted this. Um, hey Shalom, brothers. Hey, hey Shalom, Akim, who are on the comment board. It uh, and who's ever watching. It says here, um, James chapter one verse twelve. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Damn. So. Hey, the man, uh, he blesses the man that endure a temptation. If you're able to endure to the end, as the scriptures say, what in Matthew the 24 chapter, you're you're going to get a crown, man. Okay, when the, when, you, when you read Second Ezra, it's the uh, second chapter, it goes into that how Yahweh Shai is going to give the elect members, all right, you know the, that that uh, um that crown, okay, that incorruptible crown. Remember, they, this is an incorruptible crown that we're fighting for. Look, we're not like the uh. The uh, uh, the Mike Tyson's, the Canelo's, the Floyd Mayweather's, all right, you know the the Jay Z's, Beyonce's, the Bad Bunnies, etc. Right? See, they they're they're fighting for a, a a corruptible crown, you know, something that's going to eventually rot away and, and just be uh, um, completely forgotten about. Even Mike Tyson, he even stated that you know um, uh, uh, recently, maybe about a year ago, roughly, he was uh, in an interview and he had all his belts, right? And one of the um, I forgot exactly what the interview the interviewer asked him, but there he, he said something under the lines of like, you know, are you proud of this? Blah blah blah. Like, you know, are you happy that you won this? And Mike Tyson looked at it, grabbed him. He's like, this means nothing. Okay, he, he threw one of his belts. He's like, this is nothing. At one point, it meant something, but now he's like, you know, I'm worried about you know basically uh, my family and myself. You know, that's what's important to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All that stuff is nothing, man. You know, anything in this. In this world, it is nothing, all right? Today, because this world is a temporal world, as they, I think uh, the brother Rapai uh, mentioned that, man. This world is uh, uh, going to pass away, as the scriptures say. We're looking to, uh, uh, for the kingdom to come, and we, we want a kingdom that's going to be everlasting, okay? Talks about how Israel's going to be a world without end, right? An age without end, okay? And, and when we want uh, to be in that, uh, that uh, position of power forever. Where no man is going to take, you know, our crown, so to speak. Or we're, we're going to be in the rulership seat forever and ever. Well, uh, we, you know, with Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's what we're looking for. Uh, a world of righteousness. All right? Where, where, where there's real peace, tranquility. Okay? that that That's what we're looking for. Where we don't have to worry about our children, you know, walking around. We don't have to worry about the elder, elderly, our brethren. Okay? Right. We don't have to yeah. think. We're, we're going to be a... um. Completely perfect, all right? Sin is not even going to come into our mind anymore. So on and so forth, man. That's what we're looking for. Not, 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 not this place, man. This place is tainted and, and polluted and just wicked. 
You know? Oh, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Um, you got some oxalakia. Yeah, because um, because right now, as long as we continue in this walk, all right, sincerely, and put on as the elect, we have that crown, right? This uh, uh Revelation three and eleven. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. That includes yourself. That's why we gotta always be examining ourselves. You know, we be in the faith. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's why it's important to walk in the, in the spirit. Because things are going to arise, things are going to happen, but we can't uh, give over to the flesh. We can't be overly emotional and fold, you see? We got to understand that Satan is at work. He doesn't take a break. He's never taking a rest, all right? He's always trying to agitate us, you know, to knock us off, you know? So if you keep these things in mind, all right, and knowing that this is something that we just have to go through, knowing that the Lord is with us every step of the way, that's comforting, man, all right? This is just temporary, and then that's that's beautiful to know and understand. When you understand those things, hey, you just rebuke Satan and you keep it moving, man. All right, because these people don't have the Lord with them. The Lord is with us. You see, you know, just like Judges six and twelve. All right, so hold on to your crown, man, because if we endure, Lord willing, to the end, hey, the Lord's gonna put that crown upon us, man. He's not a man that should lie, you know. Yeah. Hey, can I make a point real quick? Yeah. yeah. Let, let Satan do his job, man. Let him do yeah. his job. Okay? Hey, because look, Satan can only go so far. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. And, and like the brother said, hey, rebuke Satan. All right, rebuke the tempter. Okay? And just keep it moving. And just learn from, you know, uh, what, you know what's happening to you. Okay? And then trust me, it's going to increase your faith. After that, you know, said, you know, uh, situation that said, you know, trial, tribulation, it's going to increase your faith. You're going to get stronger. Okay, hey, more mighty in the spirit, you know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> if, I, if I could, real quick, this is wisdom of Solomon, chapter 6. Uh, chapter 6, verse uh, I'll start at 14. Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, for he shall find her sitting at her door at his doors and through crooked paths. Wisdom's gonna take you through it, man. All right, to try you out, you know. Yeah. And then once you're proven, hey, then wisdom's going to dwell with you and sub with you, yeah. all right? But that doesn't mean that you're not going to go through. You're still going to go through it. You know, the devil, the Satan's going to come back stronger and stronger. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was so going to say, oh, I'm sorry. My, I was going to say, my, my bad. I, it said, uh, the scriptures say what? That a uh, prover friend, you know? Yeah, Remember, absolutely. the Lord is proving absolutely. us to, to see if we're really about this or not, Okay. And that proving yep. process isn't going to uh, stop until Yahweh Shah comes back, to be honest. Mm -hmm. We're going to be going through things until the very, very end. Okay? That, that's why, if I could say, uh, that's why the Lord Yahweh Shai said, shall I find faith on earth? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to hold on to this faith, man. All right, to the end. You see? And, you know, Hebrews 11 and 1, faith is things of, uh, you know, let me just grab that real quick. My bad. I'm like right here. Um. And one, yeah, faith. I mean, Hebrews 11 and one. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. All right, so hey, these are things that you don't see, but you know through the spirit, through faith that you believe in. All right, the Lord is here, the Lord is with us, man. All right, man, this is this is so good. What, I'm sorry, what you got something too? Yeah, yeah, I got, I got two precepts for you. <laughs> Uh, I want to get this real quick. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 7, verse 25. And it reads here, for she, this is talking about wisdom, mind you. For she is the breath of the power of the, power of the Most High, and a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no undefiled thing fall into her. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light, the unspotted mirror of the power of the Most High, and the image of his goodness. And being but one, she can do all things. And remaining in herself, she maketh all things new. And in all ages, entering into the holy soul, and maketh them friends of the Most High and prophets. And that, that's a beautiful thing, man. They look, the, the wisdom is making us, uh, is allowing us to be friends again with Yahweh Shai. Yep. But we're going to have to prove ourselves, man. Okay, yeah. to see if we're really that friend. All right. That's why we're going through all these things. 
man. I know brothers are going through it. All right. Hey, some brothers, they got to live with their parents. Some, uh, you know, brothers, uh, they have no woman. Some brothers are dealing with, you know, uh, baby mama drama. Okay. You know, uh, other brothers are, you know, uh, being overworked. Some brothers have no work. You know, there's always something yeah. going on, man. All yeah. right. All of us are going through hell. You see? And um, I'm going to keep reading. For the most high, Yahweh loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. Right. So you got to go through things. Okay, hey, turn that down. Turn that down, man. If it's too much for you, hey, put it down and go hey, go play with something else. I'm doing something. All right, but, uh, but yeah, so hey, the, the Lord, he, you know, he loves those that dwell with wisdom, man. Okay, so this is a, hey, this is a beautiful thing that we're going through uh, situations. Because hey, you you mentioned it, our wisdom's gonna try you. He's gonna take you through them crooked paths. Because yep. if everything was, you know, uh, 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 you know, life is peachy. You know what I'm saying? You're going through nothing. You 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 just you know, uh, you know, on this walk and you know, no bad things are occurring. That day, man, that that's a scary thought. And brothers out here in Chicago always, you know, say that when things get too smooth, they start getting worried. They're like, damn, is the Lord even dealing with me? Mm -hmm. Then what usually happens is. You you get that you know that that big hit from the Lord, that 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 you know that that nice you know you know uppercut to the goddamn you know uh, chin man. All right, you get hit in the fucking liver. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You start falling, so to speak. You see, but um, I got uh, another quick one, Ark. Go for it. Yeah, this is uh Romans chapter eight, and um, I'm gonna start at uh I'm gonna start at five main points in six though, Ark. Romans 8 and 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but right. to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Mm. So we got to be spiritually minded in this thing. Okay? You can't be carnally minded. All right? You can't uh, uh, react, you know, uh, uh, right away and just, you know, uh, do things based off your feelings. You got to... Uh, you gotta filter everything, okay? Yeah, you 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 gotta uh, 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 be logical with things, apply the scriptures, and then mm -hmm. you, you make your moves, okay? Look, I'll say this: the people in this world, they're carnally minded, they're reactive, they just do things because they feel a certain way, and that's why they get in these predicaments, man. Whatever it is. Yep, like brute beasts, you know, like an animal. You know yep. what I'm saying? An animal just reacts. Mm -hmm. but we have the we have the the, the we have these laws, these statutes and commandments, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, to discern, to think about these things before we make a move. And that's how we got to operate, you know, each and every day, all right? That's right, Doc. You got another priest. You are, you are just brute beasts, man. These people are, are literally animals out here, man. Mm -hmm. You know, the same that killed the prophets back then are, are here again today, man. So yeah. that's why we got to be walking in the spirit that much more knowing what time it is. Yeah, the days are evil. These, these people are. Uh, evil, yeah. th this is a, a, the worst generation ever. Okay, you know, that we're really. amongst. Yeah. All right. That's why the scriptures talk about being circumspect. All right. Being wise as a serpent, harmless as a dove. All right. So on and so forth. And because yeah. they, we're, we're those sheep in the midst of wolves, man. Hey, what yeah. does it say when uh when when basically one when one departed from evil, he maketh himself a prey. Now everybody's yeah, trying to you know. Uh, yeah, everybody's trying to pounce on us, Doc. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, we're a target. Yep. But see, hey, we, we got to be those. Uh, we we, we got to be uh, you know those sheep that trust in our shepherd. Which uh, who who's our shepherd? It's Yahweh Shai. Okay, so yep. scripture talk about he's a, what the chief shepherd. We mm -hmm. have to trust that our shepherd's gonna guide us. You know, uh, uh, in the proper you know direction. Okay, in this evil world that we live in, what is this place called? What the Valley of the Shadow of Death? You know. Yeah, and we gotta, uh, you know, uh, uh, allow Yahweh Shai to guide us properly. Don't, don't, don't uh, uh, question, you know, things. Okay, just uh, 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 so to speak, just you know, um, you know, learn from them, meditate on these things. What you know, whatever you're going through, and go with the flow, so to speak. Hey, because you can't. What does it say? Uh, don't, don't force the course of the river. You know, right, right. <laughs> you gotta go with the flow, man. And you start trying to bet, you'll know, go upstream. Hey, you, you, look, you're not a salmon, man. You're not gonna go upstream and get the W. You, 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 hey, you, you try to go upstream and you're gonna be through. All right. 
Khan. Well, uh, whatever yeah. you got, Ak. <laughs> well, this is a uh, Sirach Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter thirty-seven, uh, verse fifteen. And above all this, pray to the Most High that He will direct that way in truth, because it's the Lord that directs the steps of man. So, knowing this, you know, beg the Most High to keep you in this truth, man. All right, to 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 guide you through these hurdles, these obstacles, man, these damn demons that are out here, you know. And, and to and you know and also sup with wisdom, all right. Be on your part to to be reading and studying always, all right. Feeding the flock, all right, because then you know wisdom will truly meet you in every thought, you know. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's right, man. <laughs> Shit, Aka. You got anything else? No, that's it for now. Yeah, that's, pretty, that's pretty much. That's pretty much it. I don't <laughs> got anything else. Uh, I was um, gonna say, uh, you know, it's, it's almost that time, anyways. I got to get out of here in a couple minutes, but uh, Ooh, you know, hey, you know, more? I'm sorry, just one more yeah, yeah, right yeah, here. Whatever you got, I get it. Yeah, sorry, you got it. It's right here, Sirach 37 and 16. Let reason go before every enterprise Ooh. and counsel before every action. You know, in in, in uh, King David. All right, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, the Lord was always with them, He was wise he in all his ways. He, he, he always, he uh, I'm sorry, He inquired, yeah, He always inquired of the Lord. That's the point, He always inquired of the Lord, and that's what we have to do. All right, having the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that's spiritual power right there. We got to utilize that, man. All right, and apply the wisdom that we're learning, you know. Yeah, yep. this is mighty. Yep. Can I get one last scripture? <laughs> Absolutely, man. Bring the precepts out. <laughs> Lord's will, we could close it on this. And this is something that we got to do at all times, okay? All right. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 18, verse 10. The name of the Lord, Yahweh, is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and is safe. So we got to always go to our um, our power source, okay? Yahweh, yep. Shemel, Shai. Call the names of the Lord. Are calling the name of the, first and foremost the Heavenly Father, then of course the Son Yahweh, uh, 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 you know, and Yahweh Shai, okay, Yahweh Bashim Shai, and uh, we'll be safe, man. We'll be safe if as long as we do those things, pray, fast, believe, have faith, okay, endure. We'll be good. We'll be fine, man. And the Lord's gonna make sure we get out of this, you know, in one piece, so to speak. All right. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty much it, Rapai. So, you got something. Now, and with that, we hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Double honor to the apostles, to the El double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth. And salutations to all the Aki and pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, wa, a baba ba. Till next time. Wam, wam.